The last decade, cancer immunotherapy has dramatically changed cancer treatment for most patients. This type of therapy actually uses the patient's immune system to fight the cancer, where traditionally we've always targeted the tumour. Traditionally, breast cancer has not been thought to be amenable to immune therapy. This is because the risk factors for developing breast cancer are largely hormonal, so related to menarche, number of children, breastfeeding, etc. However, my research has shown that breast cancers contain a large amount of immune cells, and these cells are important in determining a patient's outcome from breast cancer. The good news is for patients, we conducted some of the first trials of immunotherapy for breast cancer at Peter Mac and also I was responsible for the first trial in the world of immunotherapy for a certain type of breast cancer that expresses the HER2 oncogene, which will hopefully mean that all breast cancer patients can access these therapies in the near future. The first patient we treated had a great response and she remained in complete remission from her advanced breast cancer, so usually a terminal condition, for three to four years. So that was a really promising first sign that the immunotherapy treatment was working in breast cancer patients. I'm very honoured that my work has been recognised for its importance for the wider medical community and for cancer research. Obviously we're hoping for the cure and to get rid of some of the particularly nasty types of breast cancer that affect young women and we strongly believe that immunotherapy will result in that so this is what we're working towards.